Hey Wompers and welcome back to another quick tutorial. In this one I want to show you something that quite a lot of you had some struggles with and that is to keep the sharpness of your objects. So if we have a look at this example scene here we see that our objects have some artifacts around them and they're fairly loose. They're definitely not have the highest quality that these primitives should have. In the left we can see our scene list, this is where we find all of our primitives in our scene and we also see that they are right now not put into unions and not structured. And that is one of the problems. Basically we lose quality the further away objects are from each other. For example if we take this sphere and drag it very far away we slowly see our other primitives fading. Almost to a point that they don't even exist. And if we bring it back closer, the quality increases again. And that is why it's very important to put nearby objects or complete structures that you build together, that you put them into their own union. For example, if we take this cube tower here and put it into a union, it will regain its full quality. And this makes the most sense if you do this with structures that would belong together anyways. But here we can also see that if we would put something inside of this union very far away, the same thing would happen. And now we can do the same with the other structures that we have here. We can put this together in a union and also this other structure. And another nice thing about unions is that now we can move all of these primitives together as a group. But how does this translate to a more complex scene where you actually need to structure things to make sense? Let's have a look at that next. So this here is my windmill house. Um, if you would like to see how this was made, we have also uploaded a video about that. I will link it at the top. But now for the scene, um, I used it as a more complex example. You see the middle part is almost <laughs> like it's gone through a blurry filter. And in the scene list we see there is a bunch of primitives that are not in a union right now, obviously for demonstration purposes. And for example, if I choose all of the same material here and put it back together into union, we see those. this is the union for the wooden structure and the quality comes back. Now the rest of the cubes here is all parts of the foundation and the bricks that I made. Also putting them back into union makes it sharp and we have our quality. But the biggest problem about this was actually the top part of the house, which I used a very huge negative cylinder for, because back then we didn't have curves and I just created this rounded shape um, for this top part with a huge cylinder subtraction. And that is another problem that we are facing about sharpness. Very huge objects that are together in a, in a union with very small objects. That is also something you should definitely avoid. So yeah, now that we put it back together, let's also have a look at how I usually structure my unions so they make sense. Um, this is obviously up to you. You can also go for specific materials together or just which makes it the easiest for your workflow. But if we have a look, we have the roof as its own union. We have the window. That is also because of um, negatives, the house side, smokes, the stairs, the entrance and the tower on top, kind of like its own structure that makes sense together or that is close to each other, that is of the same element you want to put together into one union. Or also things that you want to copy multiple times, like if there's a lot of copies of that, you might want to put it into a union, especially if it's affecting each other with negatives, that's always something that you should have in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much it about this lesson. I hope it was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and keep whomping.